Driving on ice and snow presents particular hazards that require different driving techniques. One of the most important things to remember is that stopping and cornering will be much more difficult than on a dry road as grip is substantially reduced. Before you set off after a heavy snowfall, ensure you have enough fuel for the journey as fuel stations may be closed. Clear snow off the bonnet and roof of your vehicle. As you gather speed or brake hard, collected snow will fly off the bodywork, impairing visibility. Ensure your windows and lights are clean and that the license plates are clear too, as these must be kept visible when on public roads. A large variety of equipment is available to help in cold conditions. Snowshoes provide support should you have to leave your vehicle at any time in deep snow. An air jack will help safely raise the vehicle on soft ground, not only if you have to change a wheel, but also to help free a vehicle that has become stranded. A first aid kit is essential. Make sure you have a telephone or appropriate communications equipment should you need to summon assistance. Snow chains can help provide extra grip on icy surfaces. Take maps for the area you're driving in. You'll find that it gets dark early and very quickly in these conditions, so take a flashlight in case of emergencies. Tow ropes or straps should be long and robust. Using brightly colored equipment will ensure it's easier to locate in whiteout conditions. Battery life is always compromised in cold conditions, so carry jump leads on board even if only to help other vehicles. In severe weather, it's best to drive in convoy with at least one other vehicle whenever possible. Other practical items include well-insulated gloves and a warning triangle. People who live and work in these conditions won't leave home without an axe, wax tip matches and a knife. Make sure all equipment is safely stowed before setting off and seek professional advice if you want to be sure you're equipped with the right kit for your journey. A snow shovel is essential should you need to dig to free your vehicle at any time or to clear a path from it for you and your passengers. When driving on snow and ice, you need to be aware of the increased stopping distances. Your vehicle's ABS will allow you to steer as you brake, but if you follow the vehicle in front as closely as you might in good road conditions, there's a much greater risk of a collision. These vehicles demonstrate this. Traveling side by side, you see that the following Land Rover only comes to halt beyond the rear bumper of the lead vehicle, despite applying maximum braking effort. This is due to the increased braking distance and the driver's reaction time. Maintain a sufficient gap between you and the vehicle ahead to leave enough distance for safe braking. Use a gentle right foot when accelerating and braking. When you pull away from stationary, select the highest practical gear and select grass, gravel, snow on terrain response. This will help reduce the risk of wheel spin and so give you more low speed traction. To achieve the best traction, try to make new tracks in snow rather than following existing ones. A recce is vital when driving off-road in snow. Like water, areas of snow need to be checked for depth and for any hazards concealed beneath the surface. Driving straight into unchecked areas can result in wheel spin and your vehicle becoming stranded. To avoid any potential problems, Get out of the vehicle and walk the route you plan to take, checking to each side as well as the course ahead. Remember to knock off snow from your boots when returning to your Land Rover. This will help you maintain good grip on the foot pedals. If the snow is too deep or if there are hidden obstacles, take an alternative route.
Dynamic Stability Control, DSC, is a feature on some Land Rover models that helps maintain directional control in slippery conditions. Turning off DSC and entering a corner too fast or applying the throttle too sharply can risk the vehicle sliding into a skid as demonstrated here. Now we see the vehicle entering the corner with DSC engaged. Although full throttle has been used in both these examples, this time the system automatically limits the throttle and applies braking force to each wheel individually to keep the vehicle under control. Consult your owner's handbook for conditions where it's useful to turn DSC off. The lack of traction offered by snow and ice means that more momentum is needed to successfully climb a gradient than in most other driving environments. Insufficient momentum can result in wheel spin caused by the lack of traction, making the ascent more difficult to accomplish. Approach an incline in the highest practical gear, which in this case is first, and use a strong but steady throttle to gain the momentum needed. It is particularly important in snow to attempt the hill straight up, as the slightest side angle can cause you to slide. 